dating through tag my plan with tag was to learn savannah through the females on this site i found out about this site from looking at another person's computer in the library i set up a profile load out load i think 20 pictures of me at work figure that would send the right impression first thing i noted was the two walls like facebook you have a wall tag you have a wall for you and your friends plus another wall for pen pals you not friends with from the two walls i realized nobody took tag serious i took other actions everyone that gave me decent convo i friend on facebook i also noticed from both walls that majority of the females smoke weed and drink on the regular looking for free days without getting to know men and seeking attention from posting half naked pictures in all kinds of positions then when men Approach them for sex, they scream all men are dolls or just want sex. Then I noticed the private group rooms. I had some good convo in them rooms, never attend the meet and greets. I never felt a connection with nobody in the groups. The first woman I talked with gave me the rundown on Savannah. The second female gave me small talk every blue moon over time I friend her on Facebook. That's where I got to know her somewhere then that came to an end a few weeks ago we talked whenever i reached out to her from from the end of 2012 to 2017. third female i built friendship with turned out to be the realest we've been friends now since 2012. nine days we talk every blue moon and friends on facebook the fourth friend we was talking good for a while once her debits came to the table i wasn't willing to help her out that brought our bond to a close. I had to admit she was in my age with college degree and no kids. Somehow could manage her money. The fifth friend we became close through inbox. They carried over to Facebook. Then carried over to Facebook that turned into talking over the phone. When I moved to Savannah, we made plans to hang out. That didn't happen when she found out she couldn't run my life. The last female I talked with, we became close through inbox and talking over the phone. While I was in Savannah, she gave me her opinion on, on most of the temp companies I had interviews set up at. When it came time to hang out, she said she looked at me as a little brother. I came across a lot of females that are looking to have sex for money and lost count of how many confused men that mean gay men inbox me that I blog after seeing their profile pictures. I almost forgot. I used to post the same post I post on Facebook on tag about working double shift five days a week and making crazy overtime. A female asked for my number after she friend me, then reached out to me months later after reading my wall. We talked for a minute until I figured out she on my Facebook page and looked good. The entire time she was talking about how she needed help to rent U-Haul and a storage unit for her stuff until she found a house. When I asked her to hook up, she declined. I forgot the reason. That's when I hung up within five minutes. She called back. She called me back, then saying her aunt told her to go make that money. She could use it. I again asked her for a price. She replied, "Whatever it costs to rent U-Haul truck storage unit, you have to pay for my aunt to bring me to you and to watch my six kids." Once I heard six kids, I told her she looked good, but not good enough for all of that. Then hung up the phone, and that was the end of that situation. Tag is a, is an okay website. It got a lot of nonsense out there, but you gotta look between the lines and know what's real, and what ain't.